Now something that's really important, if we touched on this a little bit, to get comfortable working in this environment, is to be able to zoom in and out of the timeline. The ability to see more of it all at once, or to really hone in, zoom in on one section at a time. And so the one way I showed you already was to drag this bottom bar, and you can kind of drag it across, resize it by dragging the edges here. And probably what you'll find most convenient if you have a scroll wheel on your mouse is to use that to zoom in and out. As you move the wheel backwards and forwards, the timeline will zoom in and out. It's very quick and handy. If you don't have that, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. So once again, here's the virtual keyboard. I will hit the up and down arrows. And you can see behind there, the timeline is adjusting. And by now you've noticed I'm working with this Wacom tablet, which is a really great interface device. You can have either the Cintiq, which has the monitor built in, or just a regular drawing tablet, and they have different uh, controls built right in here. I can just run my finger up and down, and it's zooming in and out that way. So that's real convenient.